us live from the county of Busia. Now, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, has gazetted names of all aspirants who will be participating in party primaries and warned that the commission will not allow unsuccessful aspirants to switch political parties and contest in the August polls. Now, the primaries will be conducted between tomorrow and April the 26th. IBC Chairperson Wafula Chabukati says the commission will strictly enforce the electoral code of conduct and take stern action against politicians involved in violence, intimidation or use of hate speech during the campaigns. KTN's Patrick Amimo has the details. IEBC has officially given a nod to all political parties keen to participate in the August polls to conduct their party primaries beginning Thursday. ODM will be the first of the blocks with primaries in three counties, Busia, Bungoma and Machakos, scheduled for Thursday. ODM has staggered its primaries between April 13th to April 25th to ensure free and fair nominations across 27 counties where it will be fielding candidates. Ford Kenya will also be conducting primaries Thursday in Mombasa, Kwale, Kilifi, Lamu, Tana River and Taita Taveta counties, all in the coast region. Ford Kenya has equally staggered its primaries between April 13th and April 26th. <laughs> Waipa Party will conduct primaries in 18 counties on Saturday before moving to other counties. Amani National Congress plans to start its primaries starting Friday in Mombasa, Samburu and Seya counties. Curiously, Friday falls on Easter holidays Good Friday. IEBC has put a roadblock for politicians with a penchant for party hopping. The idea of letting aspirants uh, and also having primaries between 26 is whatever you have to do in between, you do it. But after 26, we, we shall not have a state where you change from one point to another. IEBC says cabinet secretaries are free to campaign for Jubilee ahead of the August polls. Chebukati, however, warned that he'll crack the whip on other civil servants who will be found campaigning. Section 23 of the Leadership and Integrity Act says an appointed state officer, other than a cabinet secretary or a member of the county executive committee, shall not act as an agent or further interest of a political party in an election or manifest support for or opposition to any political party or candidate. Those who are in positions of influence, those who are civil servants, Please don't use state resources to campaign. Section 14 of the Election Offenses Act 2016. The fines are heavy. You risk going in prison for six years or a fine of two million shillings or both. And the IPC, alongside the, the other state uh, agencies which are mandated to enforce the law, it, it will actually enforce the law to the letter. Um, this is just for the good of our country, that we don't misuse state resources and we don't abuse our offices. Though representatives of at least 67 political parties that will be participating in the August polls were supposed to sign the Ethical Code of Conduct, they declined, arguing IBC had ambushed them. The Electoral Code of Conduct makes it criminal for political parties, candidates and their agents to engage in violence, intimidation, using abusive language, publishing defamatory or inflammatory allegations, and plagiarizing symbols, colors, and acronyms of other parties. When we accepted the election date on 17th of August, the law came in operation. Now, if the failure to sign the Code of Conduct, the provisions are also there. So it's not me, it's not IBC. It's Parliament who approved these regulations, and if there was a of numbers, we have nothing to do with it. That is uh, what happens in Parliament, we have no control. Political parties are preparing for nominations. And that week when they are supposed to start nominations, you are presenting them with a code of conduct and insisting that it should be signed. I think that is not proper, that is not good planning, and some of these things are the things which affect the credibility of the election. IABC has instructed political parties to present their list of nominees for the various positions in the August polls 